Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new tutorial and that's going to be how to change the sky of a picture and it's going to be using digital artwork. So we're going to take this picture right here, which is a picture of the North Carolina coast just taken during the day, during a normal summer day. Um, and this picture is actually available on our website. So just go to ChristianPhotoshops.com and go to the free stock images and you can just um, download this picture directly to your computer and uh, you can use it to edit on. And um, so just download it, open it up in Photoshop, and then we'll go ahead and get started here. So what we want to do is we want to change the sky in this picture. Um, so we got a nice um, summer day during the day and we want to change it to a night scene. So the first thing we want to do is create a brand new layer. We want to call it sky. And what we're going to do is we're going to box out that sky. So I'm going to get my rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to create a, um, a selection right here and it can go a little bit into the water that that's fine um, and we're gonna fill it with the color you can fill it with any color you want really but what I'm gonna fill it with is um, this gray um, color of the clouds this kind of white gray right here so just select that color and then fill it and now we have a nice um, box for our sky that we're gonna be used to painting on so create a new layer on top of that one and then we'll call this one clouds. Now there's a lot of different ways to paint clouds and um, I'm only going to show you just one way here but what we're going to do is um, I'm going to open up um, my brush panel and I'm going to just choose a very basic brush here so just one of these basic charcoal brushes that Photoshop already preloads um, with your software so it's already you can download um, cloud brushes if you want to but I'm just going to use a basic brush that Photoshop already includes so um, this is what the brush looks like. It's just kind of um, just a basic little rectangle um, charcoal brush. Um, so it's got a little bit of character in it and it looks fine like this, but I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna change that flow. The flow is way too high at 100% and I go all the way down to like 2%. Um, there's just a lot of paint on this brush and so we just wanna, when you do that, it's a lot lighter and you can just paint over the same spot to get it darker. Um, but the initial paint stroke would be a lot lighter. Um, and another thing I want to do is I want to change, go to your brush um, toolbox and uh, your dialog box, and I want to change the shape dynamics, and we're going to change the angle jitter all the way to 100%. And so what that does is it just randomizes the brush strokes so it's not that same rectangle shape every, um, every time you do it. So it kind of randomizes it, and um, I think that'll look good. Um, rather than that, that, that blocky shape, this kind of just changes the angle every time you paint. Um, so, all right, there we go. We have, um, we've got our brush ready. So now we need to select the color. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create a vignette of um, clouds. So I'm going to make my brush really big. And to, to start off with the colors, what I do is I just I sample the ocean here. So right here on the right side of the screen, it's really, it's kind of dark. So I just... Um, sample that dark blue gray color and then I just kind of block in some colors right here so I'm just going to use a really large brush and just what we're going to do is just kind of do like a, a vignette sort of it's going to be darker on the edges and it's going to be lighter in the center and our moon when we get to that stage is going to go right in the center of the picture so we want dark on the outside to go over here to the left side and sample that color and then just paint um, some really basic shapes. So you don't have to be perfect with this part. This is just blocking in um, some, some cloud um, textures, almost kind of like a, a haze or a mist uh, of clouds. No, no real big puffy clouds in this picture. Um, and then for the center, you know, just continue to sample the ocean where it's lighter in the center. Um, and it's darker on the outside. So like I said, we're just creating a nice little vignette of uh, dark clouds. Don't have to be perfect with this one. You, you could spend more time and be a little bit more perfect with the shapes, but since this is just a short tutorial, I'm just showing you the, the basic ideas. Um, so just paint, just keep painting some, some random shapes here. Keep sampling different colors. Don't use the same color everywhere. There we go. I 
think that looks pretty good. So we just got some, some hazy um, clouds going on here for our backdrop. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and work on that, the, the, the brighter part of the screen. So I'm going to create a new layer on top of that one. Make sure you clip it so everything gets clipped into the sky layer. And we'll call this one Moon Glow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the, um, the kind of the halo that comes around the moon. So I'm just going to use a regular um, soft brush, just a round brush, um, and probably get my flow maybe to about 10%. What we're going to do is we're going to do a light blue color. I don't know the exact color I'm going to use, but just a grayish, kind of a dull gray, bluish color, about, about like that. And so all I'm going to do is just make a really large brush, and we're just going to draw a nice, big, bright blue circle. Not too bright, but right in the center of the picture. This is going to be our moon glow. Um, this is the light that's going to be leaking off of the moon into the rest of the picture. Okay, so just a big old um, orb of bl light blue color right there. Okay, that looks fine just like that. Now, on the same layer, we're going to change our color. This time, whatever your color is, make it a little bit brighter and a little bit more saturated. So a little bit more color in there and a little bit brighter. And then make your, your brush smaller and you're going to draw a circle inside of that original circle. So right about there, just a smaller circle, but this time it's a little bit brighter, a little bit more saturated. Okay. And then we're going to go inside of that one, and we're going to make it a little bit brighter and a little bit more saturated. And then make it just a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go about right there. So just a really saturated blue spot right in the center of the picture. And then let's do one more that's really bright. And we'll go just a little bit smaller. Kind of right like that. All right, that looks good. Okay, now create a new layer on top of that one and we'll call this one moon. So we're actually just gonna draw the moon the actual moon on this one. So a moon is not a soft shape, it's a, a lot harder of a shape, so we're gonna change our hardness to about 80, 70, 80%. And this one's gonna be almost pure white, not quite pure white, um, just right up there somewhere. And then you're just gonna draw that basic moon shape right there. Let's make sure our hardness is right. right there so we got it's not a perfect circle it's a little soft on the edges but there you go so there's there's your moon right in the center of all of that now let's make a new layer on top of everything and uh, this one doesn't have to be clipped now we're going to take some of this dull gray color make sure you have a large brush and uh, it's soft and um, we will paint that over all of this so we're kind of dulling out that glow we had, but we can still see it, so be really, really careful with this part. And then next, oh, we didn't, we didn't call that a layer, but we'll just call that extra, extra moon glow. How's that? Okay, now make a new layer on top of that one, and then we're going to put that in a group. So, um, make a new layer, make a new group, put that layer in the group, and change your blending mode to color dodge. And then inside of here, what you're going to do is you're going to have um, just a light blue color, and you're going to paint very lightly over top of the moon. And that's going to make it really glow. So just like that. All right. Be very careful with this. If you go too far, it's just going to be really um, over overdone, and it's just going to be really distracting. Um, so that looks good like that with the moon. And now what we want to do is we want to add some clouds on top of the moon. So create a new layer on this one and we'll call this um, we'll call this layer um, small clouds. 
So we have our moon and we have our background clouds, but now we're gonna do some real small clouds. So go back to that original brush you had, that, that charcoal brush. And what we do here is we're gonna create um, some clouds that kind of kind of cover the moon a little bit. So what do we want to do is we want to sample, um, we don't wanna sample dark too dark of colors. We wanna sample about right in here. And then what you're gonna do is just paint a really Actually, that's probably too dark. Let's sample about right here and then go over a little bit and just paint a really basic cloud shape. And so what happens is it's really noticeable right near the moon, but once you start getting back to the, the vignette, it kind of fades into the vignette. So you wanna pick colors, say like right here and then just go over close to the moon. You can even block the moon out just a little bit if you want to. And just a just a basic cloud shape, nothing nothing too fancy with it. So just some just some random cloud shapes going here. And then you can do the same thing over here. So go to the edge of your screen, which is really dark because we created a vignette. So sample that color and then just go over a couple inches and just paint a really basic shape. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can spend more time making it perfect, um, but just kind of play with that. And what it does is it gets darker. It looks like it gets darker when it gets closer to the moon, but then it kind of just recedes off into the, the vignette because you're using the color of the vignette. So just like that. I could spend more time making clouds, making them look more realistic, but since this is just a short tutorial, I'm just gonna just show you how to block those clouds in real quick. All right, and now the last thing we'll do is, since um, the moon is, is hitting these clouds, there's obviously gonna be a bright um, edge of the clouds. So what we're gonna do is make a new layer on top of that one, and we'll call this cloud highlights. And so now we're gonna make a smaller brush and I would even go down on your flow a little bit. And so what we're gonna do, I'm going all the way down to 1%. So the smallest we can do, take that, that greenish bluish color of the, the moon, and this is gonna be your highlights. So make a really small brush and just where you drew the clouds, just kind of draw little highlights. So just imagine that these are the edges of the clouds and this is where the light is hitting it. Almost like an outline. Okay, kind of like that. And then we'll go over to this side. So you're just kind of following that shape that you drew earlier. And so this is the highlights. So the dark parts are the parts in, in shadow and then the highlights are gonna be from that color of the moon. You can do the same thing over here. Just really, really faint though. Don't, don't overdo it or it's, gonna, it's gonna not gonna look very good. And then we'll go down, we'll go down over here too, to these little clouds. All right. So some just dark shapes and then some highlights on top of it, and that's what it looks like. Um, and the last thing we wanna do, go back down to that group layer that we did earlier with the, the bright the bright glows, and then just make another layer in this one. This is just amplifying all the glows. Remember we did the, the color dodge, um, but make a new layer in there and change it to screen. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that blue color from the, the, um, the moon, and all I'm gonna do is just paint some little lines in here. And this is gonna be the part it reflects onto the ocean. So nothing too too fancy about this. This is just little lines um, that go on the the waves of the water, and we're using that color of the moon. So there you go. So it's going to be brighter towards the um, the top, and it's just going to kind of get a little bit lighter out here and a little bit wider. And then you could even, if you wanted to, you could um, do a little bit of highlights down here at the rocks and even just a little bit on the sand because the sand is still wet. 
a little wet so it would reflect a little bit of that light okay and the very last thing we're going to do go up to the very top go to um do your adjustment layer we'll do selective color go to your um, neutrals i'm just going to change it a little bit more blue so go to your yellow turn it to the left go to your cyan take it to the right that looks good and then we'll go to um, a gradient map i always like to do gradient maps and what i do for the, this gradient map is just do um just like a dark, a really dark blue, and just bring it to like a more of a light, light greenish blue, kind of, kind of like that. And then change that blend mode of that gradient map to overlay, and then we'll just bring that down just a little bit. Maybe like 20 or 30 percent, something like that. Okay, there you go. We did, um, we changed the background here. So I'm gonna show you what before and after. So all of these layers that we just made, all of the, the clouds and the sky and the, the the color adjustments, I'm just gonna group all of that in one big thing and we can just call this edits. And so this is our after picture and then this is our before picture. So in about 15 minutes, we, we completely changed um, the summer daytime picture to a nighttime moon picture. And uh, you can spend a lot more time on it, make it look, look a lot better. Um, but I think that's pretty good for just a few minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, feel free to download this picture, practice yourself, and uh, just good luck with drawing and, and have fun with it. Thanks, guys.